And then we get into the winter months and talk about heaters on page 10. Now your, your portable electric heaters like oh, this little guy, uh, a BTU is a BTU regardless of what type of heater it comes out of. So electric heaters are 100% efficient and uh, this heater will pro produce the same number of BTUs for 60 bucks for the heater as a $200 heater. The, the difference is how long the heater will last, what's the quality of the thermostat, and is it grounded? See, this one's got the grounding plug. Uh, beware of the small inexpensive heaters that don't have a grounding plug. You need to ground everything in the heater, in the greenhouse. So this one's got a, a built-in thermostat. Our uh, preference, though, is to use this thermostat with a series plug to control this heater. This gives you very accurate temperature control. The, the thermostat on the heater, if this is sitting on the ground where it's cold, uh, you're gonna get really high and low cycles. So the greenhouse is gonna get really warm, then it's gonna get really cold again, and then it's gonna cycle. Whereas this will maintain a very constant temperature. So you can just plug the uh, power cord of your portable heater, any heater, into this. Then you set the thermostat on high, so that keeps the circuit closed. The heater is always on, except the thermostat will turn, on, turn the power on and off. So that's, um, that's only a 1500 watt heater. That's all you're gonna get on a single 120 volt line. If you want more electric heat, then you have to put in a 240 volt line. Now the 240 volt heaters will give you a lot more heat uh, say this is 1500 watts, you're, you can get portable 240 volt heaters uh, that'll plug into an outlet in the greenhouse. And they usually come with a bracket that I'd recommend using and mounting the heater up on the wall and letting it blow the warm air down the aisle of the greenhouse. So that gets good distribution. So the uh, propane and natural gas heaters are more effective in a larger greenhouse. If you've got a large greenhouse that needs a lot of heat, let's say you need 20, 30,000 BTUs, then you need to consider propane or natural gas as opposed to electric and compare the cost of, uh, of, the, of heating per BTU in each system. The uh, propane or natural gas heaters will cost more initially, but the potential there is to save on the heating cost, plus if you have power outages where you lose electricity, uh, a lot of these uh, gas heaters will run without electricity. Not all of them. Some of them require a blower or fan to keep the heater cooled while it's burning, but uh, one brand that you can safely use is a Empire brand, and they will run with or without an uh, electric fan. Uh, solar heating is, uh, is, a, is a good question. A lot of people ask about, can I uh, put a rock bin or water storage in my greenhouse and uh, do away with electric and propane heat? Well, to, to some degree you can. If you don't have long spells of cold weather, uh, sub-freezing weather, uh, in the, on the northwest, uh, in the Puget Sound, uh, Oregon, Central Oregon Valley, going down in California, it's very possible uh, to use solar heating as their sole source uh, for the greenhouse. You probably will have uh, temperatures that get down to 40 degrees in the greenhouse. But when you know that any time during the winter when the sun shines, your greenhouse is going to 70, 75 degrees, and then you're storing that heat, uh, you've got an opportunity there to uh, do a solar heat storage. Now, what I also say is, if you do it yourself, it's probably worth doing, but I would not hire a contractor and spend $5,000 building a rock bin. It's, it's, the payback is 20 years out there. So it's, uh, it's more of a, maybe a, a personal choice to, to do that. Uh, we have a customer down Battleground that uh, raised his greenhouse up off the ground on a wood crib and built a rock bin underneath it. Uh, and it was his uh, creative answer to minimizing the heat uh, cost for using a greenhouse, and it'll work very well. The question is, what, how much heat do you get out of a rope light? Not very much, uh, but there are soil cables, electrical soil cables that you can put in, and uh, 
you know, they will generate enough heat to warm up the soil and uh, keep your plants happy. Another thing you need to know is that plants generally will tolerate air temperature about 10 degrees colder if the soil is warm. So that's why plants will stand a cold night when the sun is warmed up the soil during the day. So if you've got soil cables in your soil, uh, whether it's a raised bed or in the floor of your greenhouse, you can let your temperature in the greenhouse drop 10 degrees more and it takes less heat to heat the air and your plants are going to do just fine as long as the roots are warm. There's also uh, compost heaters where uh, you can get, uh, if you've ever had a compost pile that was really cooking, there's a lot of heat there and uh, some people do that in their greenhouse. Uh, it's, it's possible to design a greenhouse with uh, the rolling drawers on the, that pull out to the outside. I, I heard about this in Italy and they fill up the, uh, these big bins with uh, grape uh, vineyard compost and then slide them back in under the benches in the side of the greenhouse and that's their sole source of heat. So and when you get creative that's uh, something you can do. Uh, do need to talk about emergency heaters because there's always the possibility of your main heater failing or power outage and uh, in this area uh, you know well a lot of part of the country uh, we lose electricity so if your uh, propane heater requires electricity to run it's good to have a, another propane heater that does not require electricity uh, or if you have an electric heater uh, use a, a portable propane heater uh, a camping type heater would work uh, we've got a sample here it runs on a propane bottle you just screw the propane bottle and uh, this will run uh, four to eight hours uh, and uh, get you some heat anyway uh, to get hopefully until the power comes back on or until you solve the heating problem. So uh, there, there are a number of portable type uh, propane heaters. A lot of them are infrared which means they just heat the objects in front of them and don't necessarily directly heat the air in the greenhouse. So, uh, but the, uh, they're safe. That's the advantage of the infrared type of heaters. Whereas the fuel burning uh, heaters, uh, maybe a catalytic uh, heater is safe, uh, but the uh, orchard heaters are not something you want to bring into the greenhouse. Or, uh, well, your, your barbecue is not a good choice to bring in the greenhouse. So 